Hi, I'm Megan, and this is my cool sculpting journey. I am about to go in and get cool sculpting done on my arms at the Bougainvillea Clinic. I've never done it before, but I'm super excited because I've heard really great things about it. So here we go. So I wanna start out by saying I have been wanting to try cool sculpting for a very long time. I've seen people talk about it online, on TV shows, influencers, just people on social media, all over the place, I've heard people talk about cool sculpting. And I've honestly only pretty much heard good things about it. I had the opportunity to get cool sculpting done at one of my favorite places, the Bougainvillea Clinic here in Winter Park, Florida. They're my one-stop shop, the place that I go to when I want a little bit of a tweak or just to feel a little bit better about myself. Their staff is so knowledgeable, so friendly. They offer so many different services and cool sculpting is definitely one of their major ones that they offer. When I knew I had the opportunity to get cool sculpting done I had to figure out which area I wanted to do you can treat so many different areas with cool sculpting and I had to think about what bothers me the most and what I would like to fix the most about myself and for me it's my arms everyone has that one area on their body that is just a lot harder for them to get rid of the fat and for me it's my arms whenever I gain weight I first gain weight in my arms and whenever I'm losing weight it is the hardest place for me to lose so obviously I chose my arms to go ahead and get cool sculpted I had a little bit of nerves going into cool sculpting because I wasn't exactly sure how it was going to feel what the process overall was going to be like. And I have to tell you, those nerves were so not necessary. The process of getting cool sculpting done was so easy. One thing that I thought was so awesome about getting cool sculpted at the Bougainvillea Clinic is that they have their own little cool sculpting suite. So you are in there by yourself, you have a TV on the wall, you've got Netflix, YouTube, whatever you want. You can watch it while you are getting yourself cool sculpted. Melissa really explained the whole cool sculpting process and made it super easy for me to understand. She's so knowledgeable and she really put me at ease about the whole process. So the actual cool sculpting process starts with these little adapters that basically suction cup your fat into it. It is kind of a weird feeling, I'll be honest. It didn't hurt, but it was weird. And just like sucked my fat right up into it. And then Melissa wrapped around these bands that basically kept everything in place for the whole cool sculpting process, which lasts about 30 minutes. Once it's suctioned to your fat and she starts the machine, basically it just gets really, really cold. It doesn't hurt or it didn't hurt me at all and it's not supposed to hurt, but what it does is it gets so cold that it actually numbs that area. So after a little bit, you don't even feel that area that's getting your fat frozen, which can kind of be a weird feeling, but it doesn't hurt. And they also have the ability to be able to do two areas at one time. I am currently hooked up to the cool sculpting machine. I've got both arms in. Just my right one is going right now and it is super cold, but it doesn't hurt and it's just like a crazy feeling. So Melissa explained to me that you really don't see the full results for about three months because the fat has to freeze and the fat cells die off and then your body has to adjust and you have to excrete the rest of the fat out and all of that. So it does take a little bit of time to see the full results. She did warn me that I could possibly bruise, that bruising is something that happens to some people. I actually didn't even end up bruising at all. And what I really loved about it is there was no downtime whatsoever. I actually went home that afternoon and got on my Peloton and worked out and it was completely comfortable. My arms were still a little bit numb, but it wasn't like it was uncomfortable or hurt or anything like that, which is so great for a mom like me who's looking for procedures that require little to no downtime. Yeah. From full sculpting, So here's the big kicker. About two weeks after I got my cool sculpting done, I found out I was pregnant. As most of you know, when you get pregnant, you tend to gain some weight. It's what a woman's body needs to do to help that growing baby inside. And I'm someone that tends to gain a bit of weight when I'm pregnant. My last pregnancy, I gained a lot of weight and this time around I was trying really hard and I still am trying really hard not to gain too much weight but your body still gains weight. I tried to remain as active as possible. The first trimester was quite rough and I was sick a lot and the only thing that really helped 
me not feel nauseous was to eat. So in terms of trying to keep the nausea away, I ended up gaining a good amount of weight in the first trimester. So when it was time for my follow-up appointment, almost four months after the procedure, I had gained a significant amount of weight and I was feeling like I wasn't sure if I was going to see any results because I have gained weight being pregnant. Melissa took me back, we went ahead and did the after photos, and then we compared the before and after, and I was pleasantly surprised that I could still see some difference in my arms. I really wasn't expecting to see any difference. Now, I felt that my arms look less jiggly. Underneath here, which was my main area of concern, this was just always the part that I struggle with that I think a lot of women struggle with, especially um, this little flabby area. I noticed, just as the months were going on, that that was a lot less flabby to me, but because I wasn't looking at the before pictures and I hadn't yet taken the after pictures, I wasn't necessarily sure if there was going to be much of a difference. Comparing the before and after pictures and being quite a bit pregnant, I really wasn't expecting to see that much of a difference. So I was pleasantly surprised when I could see a bit of a difference in the before and afters. Obviously, it's not a drastic difference because I am pregnant. I've gained about 20 pounds at this point. And typically, if I gain 20 pounds, my arms are for sure showing it. The fact that my arms look a little bit better or even just the same that they did 20 pounds ago is huge for me because like I said, normally that is where I first notice the difference. I first gain weight and I become super insecure about it. So being pregnant, gaining the weight and not seeing it come on in my arms and actually feeling better about the fact that it's way less flabby is a total win for me. Now, I feel like my cool sculpting journey is not completely over. A lot of people end up getting two treatments done. They say two treatments usually will get the best results if you go ahead and do one more treatment after that. I am obviously pregnant, so I'm not going to get another treatment right now. But after I have this little baby and I start working on getting my body back into shape, I would love to go ahead and get my arms treated one more time. But overall, I'm really happy that I tried cool sculpting. I feel so much better about my arms not being super flabby. I'm just glad the bigger that I get in this pregnancy, my arms are way less jiggly. And that is a huge cool sculpting win for me.